So, Santos, nice to meet you. I'm Vitor Ventura from Mais Sports. Uh, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, what do you think went wrong today uh, with the games today? Uh, I think uh, we kind of, I would say, choked on stage because uh, in scrims we were showing kind of good result against top teams and uh, we were beating them. But on stage we didn't really show it and uh, kind of doing some weird mistakes, which uh, good teams are not supposed to do. And that's kind of the main reason why we lost. Uh, against Dragon X, you actually had a, a good early game, but uh, but you you lost anyway. Uh, why did you why did why didn't you manage to keep up raising the advantage? What the advantage? Why why do you think you didn't manage to to win ah. the game? Uh, it mostly was like uh, mistakes about rotations. Uh, like we uh, were planning this is draft play and mid to bot, and uh, get prior on these two lanes. But uh, after, uh, like, we did a bad mistake, uh, we did a bad decision and uh, went to top side, tried to gank top as, as far as I remember. And uh, it's really um, uh, hit our uh, tempo and uh, game plan overall and winning conditions. Uh, that's why we lost tempo and uh, didn't snowball more. And after that, like, uh, the, it was kind of even game, but uh, it's still, like, hard uh, to go. Like, uh, their team comp was kind of good. And team fights are decent, yeah, but still good. And uh, it's all about just finding a good uh, fights uh, with that. And we unfortunately didn't. Uh, when the groups were drawn, we interviewed Ananasik, and he said it was really possible for for Unicorns of Love to equal, even surpass the Albus Nox run in 2016. Uh, did you agree uh, with with him at the time? And why do you think you couldn't do it? I mean, theoretically, yeah, we could. Uh, because, uh, as I said, we have kind of good results in scrims, but it's still hard group, like a uh, top uh, one team of China and top two team of Korea, and uh, an A team also. But, uh, like, we just did a lot of mistakes in, in those games, uh, didn't perform well on stage, and uh, probably it was just not a, enough time to prepare to, like, big teams, because, like, when you're playing uh, planes, uh, teams level not that high, and uh, they are not punishing uh, like uh, like every year mistake, and that's why you can just even win game by doing mistakes. But uh, with these teams, it's uh, not really working like that. They are punishing like almost every mistake and uh, getting ahead of it. So like it's a bit harder, and you need to like more improve uh, to not do a lot of stupid mistakes and play it uh, properly. Uh, you guys like smurfed in planes, right? But you got no wins in in group stage. How do you see this whole uh, unicorns uh, run in Worlds 2020? I mean, for first time, I would go decent because like our minimum was uh, get through the playing stage and go to group. Uh, we did it. Uh, I think mostly just uh, a bit. Uh, it it was a bit hard for us because uh, this year we didn't really. Uh, uh, practice together at bootcamp because like uh, 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 because of pandemic like shipy could uh, join us on bootcamp so i would i would say our practice and preparing like during the split was not good uh, we weren't improving that much but our region not, not the strong so it was just enough to stomp region and also for planes but after planes ended we finally started working together like improving but uh, like it was just a couple of screams like three or four days uh, some days was skipped because of cancels, like some on some players of enemy team like feel uh, feels not uh, healthy, maybe from our side. So a lot of days dropped, and uh, you have not a lot of time to prepare. And at the same time, uh, like enemy at uh, group stage already see what you're playing in, in main uh, in playing. They know your like priority picks, like your play style, and uh, you have like basically information about them two months ago, like from uh, their finals. So. It's uh, a bit uh, comfort for them, like uh, to draft and uh, prepare for us than we are for them. It was a while since we saw a wildcard team reach group stage. How do you see the gap between wildcard regions and major regions? Uh, it depends, like uh, which major regions and uh, their seat. Uh, I would say, compared to like top one, top two China and Korean teams, gap is uh, really huge, and uh, it's really like. Probably for another wildcard teams, it's not possible to take a win, uh, because like wildcard teams are really bad at macro, and uh, they're kind of just good mechanical players, but they as a team uh, doesn't know how to play the game, 
that's why it's kind of easy for us to go through the playing stage. But uh, uh, at main stage, players are playing good mechanically and good macro. So like for, for, wild, for wild card teams, it's uh, really hard. And uh, I don't know how to improve that for them. Probably just, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, during the planes, uh, I interviewed a few teams uh, back then, and they said good things about this new format of the plane stage. Uh, do you think that format was was really better for white card regions? Uh, yeah, I think so too, uh, because uh, there's a lot of chances uh, to go like even best of five for a slot in a group stage, because uh, like in previous, if you are losing in games, you just almost insta out and you have no chance to like uh, fight for a slot so basically you have no, uh, no chance to mistake and with this format like uh, you can like probably and also it best of one so in best of one it's a bit random so like this uh, best of ones and after a, two best of fights for a slot it's really good and uh, like not random not random enough but still good for wildcards to like have more games and uh, if you have bad day like another day you can still come back uh, Santos, what do you think was the biggest wall strength that made you reach group stage? Uh, I would say uh, um, probably champion pool difference uh, compared to other teams. I would say uh, another Valka teams doesn't have uh, a lot of champion pools. They're basically playing two, three champs. They're really good at it, but uh, that's that's it. And also their uh, macro is not that good. Like uh, even our macro is uh, compared to top teams uh, is just shit. But uh, our macro compared to wildcard teams is uh, way better than theirs. So like uh, that's the most like most reasons uh, we won, I think. So uh, Santos, the the LEC caster shocks was rooting for you in Group D. Uh, in any way, do you feel that EU? The EU fans or EU teams was uh, were rooting for you. Uh, yeah, as far as I remember, like Fnatic was like posting when we were playing playing stage, like and uh, all like some doing some post on Russian, and also when we reached uh, group stage, like uh, congrats us. Yeah, it was some cheering for us. Like some people was saying like oh another EU slot, but uh, people basically saying it like when CIS team win like oh another you slot but when CS team uh, losing they're just oh it's not you it's just CIS so basically they just, just don't care so I think it's a bad thing to do. So my final question Santos thank you so much. Uh, some wildcard regions like Brazil and OPL uh, say that the region being isolated is an issue. Since you guys play in Russia you can you can manage to play in EU servers with some ping. And fun fact, when uh, we from Ice Sports interviewed Gadget when you guys played by Vegas, Vega Squadron, in MSI last year. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah. he told us something you said at a time, like, uh, playing Pike on zero, zero ping is, is strong. Uh, do you think playing in EU solo queue helps the LCL teams in any way? I mean, yeah, for sure, it helps because you're facing uh, like uh, good players. If you're on high elo, you're playing basically uh, versus uh, LEC players, uh, and uh, it's good experience. But you're still like playing on 50 ping, 60 ping, and uh, League of Legends on uh, three ping and uh, 50 ping. It's just almost different games. Some uh, champions uh, can be played on uh, 50 ping, but uh, just will be used on three. So it's kind of trade off, I would say. Mm -hmm. And we also, like, if you play on Russian server, we still have, like, 50 ping on Russian server because servers are on you also. So we kind of, like, you can play on Russia, play with uh, kind of bad players, and you can play with you, same ping, but with good players, so... But do you think this si playing with 60 ping is, is really a problem? Because the NA players are always complaining about this. I mean, it's kind of if you used to, because, like, if you are uh, playing, like, uh, whole life on a uh, 60 ping you are just used to it but when you are going to like uh like worlds or msi uh you have three ping you really need to like uh get used to it like play it's really another game and you really need to a lot of practice like to feel good on this ping because like difference is really huge <laughs>